A renowned North Korean orchestra will be performing both in Seoul and in Gangneung near the main site for next month's Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. With only a few weeks to go, there's no doubt a lot of organizing left to do. But the decision to send the musicians appears to be final. It's not yet clear whether a North Korean girl group will be coming, though. They're said to be Kim Jong-un's favorite. Ji Myung-gil has more. North Korea said on Monday it will send 140 members of its Samjian Orchestra to South Korea during the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. The troupe will perform in the South Korean capital of Seoul and the city of Gangneung in Gangwon-do province. Gangneung is one of the Olympic host cities where the ice events of the Games will take place. Seoul and Pyongyang have agreed to continue their talks to decide on the exact venue for the performance, stage settings and technical aspects such as the show. The North said it will send an on-site inspection team to check out the venues and to discuss practical matters along with South Korean officials. In response, South Korea promised to provide the North Korean performers with all the necessary support to ensure their comfort and safety. The 140 members from the orchestra will be coming to South Korea by land. They will cross the Chus village of Panmunjom on the inter-Korean border. The two sides have agreed to continue consultations via the reopened communication hotline also located in Panmunjom. North Korea observers say Pyongyang could use such art and music performances to convey a softer image amid tightened international sanctions against the regime's nuclear and missile provocations. Following Monday's talks, the two Koreas also agreed to hold further talks on Wednesday, this time on the vice ministerial level in regards to the participation of North Korean athletes in the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. The South Korean government hopes that the North art performance during the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics will help improve bilateral relations and foster cultural unity between the South and North. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.